Hi guys, it's Linda J here. I'm back with another video. Sorry it has been a while, but we are back. This one is a $20 challenge. Uh, due to the rising cost, a $10 challenge is pretty difficult unless you are going to really, you know, really skim it with the basics. So like uh, beans and rice and, you know, I'm not even sure what else I would put with it. But the the cost of eggs have gone up. That used to be a good uh, cheap breakfast, but we have $20 challenge for one person one week from Aldi, and this is what I am going to do this week. I have the pancake mix and the eggs for breakfast. I do have seven bananas, so I can either have them with breakfast, because you can actually put them in pancake mix if you mash them up. I could do that for something a little different. Otherwise, I could use them for snack. They would be a great morning snack. And then we have for lunch, the classic white bread was 93 cents. So we went with that. We have ham and I went with potato chips. Now, the the price of potato chips has gone up as well. So really, you could switch that out for cheese slices if you'd like. I have some mayonnaise in the house, so I knew I would have the bread, the ham, and the mayonnaise for my sandwich, so I went with the potato chips. And then for dinner, Aldi had the chicken drumsticks on sale. I don't know if you can see on here, 89 cents a pound, so it was $5.39 for the family pack. And then we've got the thing, the two pound bag of carrots, and I went with some baked beans to get some extra fiber in there. So this is what I came up with. I will probably make a bunch of pancakes, uh, put them in the freezer. That way I can just pop them in the toaster and there will be extra for snack if need be. And you're probably noticing there's no syrup in here. So I usually have some in the house. I'm not sure if I do this time, but... I probably have grape jelly, which I would probably thin down a little bit and use it uh, across the pancakes. That would be good. Um, I do have butter in the house, so butter on there is always good. And then one of the things I think they used back in the day, <laughs> I was talking with my mom and I don't know how many people keep this in the house anymore. I know if you bake, you might have it. Uh, Caro syrup, because that would work. Uh, in place of maple maple syrup. So that's a thought. And then my mom said, too, they used to take uh, a little brown sugar and water and boil it and then use that on their pancakes. So that's a thought, too. That would work. Um, or if you don't mind them plain, I sometimes really don't care, especially if I'm on the go, because then I can just eat the pancake, you know, as I'm going to an appointment or a meeting or whatever it is that I have to go do. And there's nothing messy about it. So it's kind of a, a nice hand food. <laughs> but that's what I have. I'm going to put that stuff together. And as far as the chicken, um, I'll probably do it in the air fryer because the temperature has finally gotten warm. We have a really warm week here. Uh, in Michigan and I don't really want to turn the oven on if I don't have to so I'll probably do the air fryer uh, Salt and pepper garlic powder. I have some Memphis dry rub that I, I like to use. That's all stuff I have in the house I only buy those things as I need them. So I don't usually uh, put them in the video because uh, It might be a week where I don't even need oil, but I'm buying it in you know for the grocery so it doesn't really pertain to the the video but um with the chicken I do like just salt and pepper and uh doing them in the air fryer that's really good but there's also um usually I have barbecue sauce in the house so I could have barbecue on them you know one or two nights if I have it I don't even know if I have any um another I'm trying to think what else would I put on there. Oh, hot sauce. We always have hot sauce in the house. So that would be good. And the carrots, I usually just boil them. Maybe put a little butter and salt with them, pepper. Um, but that's kind of it. And again, salt and pepper, garlic powder for the eggs. I don't know what else you guys might use in your eggs if it's something that people usually have in the house. I like hot sauce on my eggs, so... We do have that in the house.
But I'm going to go ahead and get you the prices here on this. The pancake mix came in at $1.79. The eggs were $2.99. The bread, like I said, was $0.93. Cents. Ham was $3.49. And my stores, my Aldi's in my area, I live kind of central. So I have the same, almost the same amount of distance to about three Aldi's. And then there is another one that I go past uh, when I bring my kids to school or go to like my parents house so I have plenty of all these to look at but they always seem to be out of ham so I was really happy they had it this time and the chips like I said have gone up in price those were 175 I remember when they were a dollar or less and the chicken, $5.39, that was on sale, so that's a good price, especially since we are having uh, some issues with uh, the poultry industry right now. So some of that is limited, and the price has gone up there as well. So carrots were $1.55, the baked beans $1.79, and bananas, I don't know if they were on sale, but they came in at $0.67. Cents. So my total was $20.35. And I'm going to go ahead and get some of this put together and show you what we're going to have. All right, you guys, here is what we have for the week. Again, this was the $20 challenge from Aldi for one person for one week. We do have the dozen eggs. So two days you're going to have one egg. And then uh, the five days you'll be able to have two eggs. Hard boiled is the way to go. Do them all at the beginning of the week. And then you they're ready to go so breakfast is easy same with the pancakes I made these quite thick <laughs> but they they look really good I can't wait to try them and I did find a little bit of grape jelly in the fridge I, I really did have to scrape the jar so um, I watered it down a little and uh, heated it up in the microwave and I think that's gonna that that'll be just fine on the pancakes. So another thing I don't think I mentioned before is cinnamon and sugar if you have them in the house. If you put butter on your pancakes and then mix together a little cinnamon and sugar, that's good too. So it doesn't um, give them any syrupy stuff, but it does give them some, a little sweetness. So that is breakfast and a banana for snack. And then for lunch, we had the sandwich. Um, I do have mayo in the house, so I was able to put mayo on with the ham sandwich. It's six slices is a serving size, and there are eight in the bag, so you will have some left. Uh, you can use where needed. And I went with potato chips, but if you did want cheese on your sandwich, you could switch the chips out for the cheese. And then for dinner, we have the chicken legs, baked beans, and carrots. And same situation, there were 12 uh, drumsticks in that pack. So two days you'll have one and the rest of them you'll have two. Uh, I just had the one can of baked beans. It was that larger can. So you won't get a whole lot each night, but a little bit does actually help because it's, you know, the fiber in the beans. And then we have the carrots. I boiled up the whole bag. So that's nice and easy again. And it's about five pieces. <laughs> I cut them kind of funny because I just wanted to quick be done with it. Um, so I have a couple, you know, of the the thicker ends of the carrots and then a couple longer pieces of the shorter ends. But I think it looks good and I'm going to have enough food, you know, for the whole week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, of course, consider subscribing. And if you are returning, thank you guys so much for your support. Uh, continue watching, hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you guys all on the next one. Bye! Bye.